Hi there, I thought I'd make a quick video on my Dyson um, handheld DC30 vacuum cleaner escapades. And what happened was I bought this um, Dyson in a, in a car boot sale in Uxbridge in, in England. And um, it, it didn't really work properly. It had the usual syndrome whereby um, you charge the battery up and then you press the trigger and the leads on top would blink red. And this is a sign that the battery pack has failed in there. So um, what happened was uh, I bought another battery pack from China and it was working fine after that. I was charging it absolutely fine. I've got a UK charger here. Um, here. That's the original. You notice the tape around it. I've opened it up. I had some problems. Basically, I, I left this... Um, handheld vacuum cleaner at a house and um, didn't pick it up, didn't use it. And what happened was the, I didn't realize this at the time, but when I got it back to use it, it wouldn't work. And um, when I plugged the vacuum cleaner into the Dyson charger, the light on the charger, there's a light, a light on top of the charger, this LED here on top of the charger, it didn't even light up. So it wasn't charging. So I thought, oh great, you know, something's gone wrong. I don't know why it's gone wrong. So basically I thought, okay, um, I'm, I better open it up and find out what's going on. So I measured the voltage um, out of the charger and that seemed to be all right. And I, I had to cut the charger open. I used my Dremel, cut it open. And I measured um, the charging circuit to see what it was doing. And what was happening is it, the voltage was ramping up to uh, the correct voltage, which is 14.8 uh, volts, then dropping down. So it's 14.7, um, nothing, 14.7, nothing. So I thought, mm, this is similar to what happens when a switch mode power supply um, doesn't like the load and it just trips out all the time. So I assumed... Uh, since the battery was uh, fairly new, it's, uh, well, it's about six months old, you know, uh, I assumed that it was going to be the um, the adapter, the, the charger itself, uh, that was faulty. So I went out and I bought another charger from AliExpress, Chinese one, tried that, and the charger, unfortunately, didn't sort the problem out. So I thought, oh dear, I've got a problem with the battery, probably. So... I actually managed to get this battery apart, as you can see, took all the gubbins out, and uh, here it is on my bench. So uh, I don't know a lot about lithium ion batteries. I've done a lot of research and I know a lot more now. What happens is when these, these sticks, which are the 18650s, when these drop uh, too much voltage, when they go down to below say two volts, they will not charge at all. They won't be recognized by any charger, pretty much. Certainly not the Dyson charger. So basically that was a problem. Uh, the batteries were had lost all their charge. Now, I didn't know about this um, battery thing at first. So what I did is I bought a couple of, I, I measured the batteries when I took this apart. This is the BMS board, the, the battery maintenance system board. I checked all around the board. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. I thought, well, if it's this surface mounted IC here, uh, you can't get them. You can get them from Octa parts. You can buy 2000 of them and that'd be ridiculously expensive. I was thinking about replacing this um, battery maintenance system. And what this uh, board does is it's, is it takes uh, each pair of batteries. Um, there's, this is a four, battery um full battery pack here there's four batteries in series it actually takes four points out from here to actually measure each battery and balance the batteries it's very important that the batteries are balanced so that this is what a battery management system board does um this is all research i've all researched this you know so i didn't really know what was going on um, so what happened was I tested, I disconnected each battery and I tested each battery individually 
and some of them were really really dismally low and they and others of them weren't working at all there was nothing there no continuity in the battery so i bought two new batteries from aliexpress i didn't want to buy all four because it turned out to be quite expensive i bought two new ones um, i kept the ones that were um, that had some sort of voltage on them and seemed like they would charge so i put it all together again and what i did is i charged um, the faulty batteries uh, or the, the very low voltage batteries I charged them one by one using this and this is a, a buck boost sorry this is a buck converter so it takes a higher voltage uh, in this case a 9 volt rechargeable battery and you can have an output of here which I adjusted to 4.2 volts which is the charging voltage of these um, batteries really you should set the current as well to be safe but uh, i haven't got uh, the facility to do that at the moment so i just bought one of these these are very cheap um, from aliexpress and i connected it to the ends terminals of the battery you've got positive terminal here and the negative here so I connected it to the battery and let the, the voltage go up to 3 volts. So I did that for all of them. Uh, these two are, are new ones here and the other two there. Made sure they were all balanced at 3 volts. And then I put them back in here. Wired it all up. Plugged the charger in. And look, you can see the green LED there. It works. So it's charging. Um, this battery pack is... Uh, Apparently at the back of here, it says 14.7 uh, volts, battery pack. 14.8, uh, sorry, volts, battery pack. And it's currently at 14.27. So it looks as though it's charging now, it's accepting a charge. And uh, so that's great news because um, to buy one of these battery packs from, say, AliExpress, it's not hugely expensive, but the freight is ridiculously expensive because these battery packs weigh quite a lot. So I think it was something like um, these battery packs were like um, 50 quid or something like that on AliExpress. But the freight was something like something ridiculous, much higher than the cost of the battery pack, which seems to be always the way with AliExpress stuff. So I thought, sod it, I'll just buy... Um, a couple of batteries um, and that's it but these ones that are knackered measuring zero volts what's happened is these batteries have actually got battery protection in them you see that little ridge there there's an extra circuit in there and there's a circuit underneath as well and this protects the battery from over voltage or anything abnormal happens with a circuit and the way to actually correct that if they're uh, there's actually a button, uh, a metal button underneath this positive terminal here. Um, and if that button pops up, um, this terminal does not have any continuity um, to the battery anymore. So this negative terminal is fine, but the positive has got no continuity. So when you measure this battery, it measures zero. So what you actually have to do is, is cut this and cut this carefully prise the top up and then underneath you'll see the button you just push the button down and then you'll find that it's got voltage again and then it's you can charge it from there so that's exactly what i did with uh one of these red ones at the end which were the original batteries with a pack i got from china these original batteries i think are samsung and the ones i replaced them with are lg something like that they're different series anyway and that that works it actually works but it's quite can be quite dangerous to do you've got to really monitor um, the batteries make sure they don't overheat um, got to be very careful because these things can catch fire and once they catch fire it's very very difficult to put them out um, you can't put them out with uh, with water or anything like that you'd have to um, throw them into a sand bucket and cover them over to, to uh, stop the fire or chuck them out the window somewhere I don't know but it's quite dangerous to work on these but 
in my situation, the fact that, you know, the battery pack would have cost too much to buy in uh, and get delivered, uh, I could just stretch to a couple of batteries and uh, repair what I had. So anyway, if you've got the same problem, um, these type of batteries are used in laptops, they're used in cordless drills, they're used in Dyson vacuum cleaners. And it's a very, very common thing to go. What you find is the battery no longer takes a charge, say, for example, in your laptop, and you think, oh, the batteries are, are knackered. So you go out and buy some, uh, a new battery pack, which costs uh, quite a lot of money. Um, but really, you needn't do that. Probably, um, if it's not taking a charge, then the batteries are unbalanced. Say one of them is dipped below two volts and the other ones are just above two volts. That would be enough for most chargers to say now i don't i don't want to charge them there's something wrong it's the battery management system here that's to blame that actually tests each individual battery and if there's a a couple that are low or one that's low the whole pack won't charge now the one low one is not necessarily a problem because each of these batteries have got their own chemical makeup so it's possible for uh, one to be slightly less um, charged than another one. So it's nothing abnormal. And people are throwing away these battery packs for drills and laptops and everything, including myself, needlessly and spending a lot of money on new packs. Uh, in the case of my lovely uh, Makita drill, the um, battery pack was cost more than the, the drill cost me. So, you know, I ended up giving the drill away and chucking the battery pack when in actual fact all I'd need to do is is uh, prise the battery pack open with a Dremel or something, cut it open and just look at the cells and maybe recharge the ones that were out of balance and it would have been fine. So you live and learn, don't you really? So I hope this video is of some interest to some people, but I just want to warn you again that uh, Lithium batteries are extremely dangerous and they can burst into flames if, you, if, you're, if you're not sure what you're doing. I would say uh, by all means, you know, open the battery pack up carefully. Um, but, you know, just be careful when you're working on that sort. Um, I'm not advising anyone to work on these that don't really know what they're doing. Obviously, I've got uh, 35 years as a experience as an electronic senior engineer. So... Um, I know the risks and I know that these things can really blow up. Uh, the little pen button cell batteries can actually, when they blow up, if you reverse bias them or something, uh, reverse voltage them, they can actually take windows out. It's, they can really go up badly. So you have to be so careful with batteries or anything like that. Um, but I don't want to frighten you off. I mean, if you are fairly competent with these things, uh, what I'm really saying is it, it's certainly, you're certainly able to um, restart a um, battery pack that won't charge and you are able to repair these coin cells where the protection circuits popped up, the buttons popped up and so there's, there's no continuity. You are, it is possible and I've done it and I'm doing it and this is now 14.32 volts. Maximum charge is 14.8, uh, as you saw on the back there. So I'm going to leave this on charge for a while and then uh, put it back together again. And it, my Dyson should work again. If it doesn't work and it's all been a waste of time, I'll report that on this video. But it looks very much to me like it's all going to be working fine. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you.